Laguna, officially known as the Province of Laguna, Filipino, Liliwigan ng Laguna, Spanish, Provincia de Laguna, is a province in the Philippines, located in the Calabarzon region in Luzon. Its capital is Santa Cruz and the province is situated southeast of Metro Manila, south of the province of Rizal, west of Quezon, north of Batangas and east of Cavite. Laguna hugs the southern shores of Laguna de Bay, the largest lake in the country. As of the 2015 census, the province's total population is 3,035,081. It is also currently the seventh richest province in the country. Laguna is notable as the birthplace of Jose Rizal, the country's national hero. It is also famous for attractions like Pagsingen Falls, the University of the Philippines Los Baños Campus, the hot spring resorts of Los Baños and Calamba on the slopes of Mount Makiling, Pila Historic Town Plaza, Tete Falls in Majayjay, the wood carvings and papier mache created by the people of Pete, the annual Sampaguita Festival in San Pedro, the Tarumba of Paquil, the Sinilas footwears from Lili, the Pandan Festival of Louisiana, the Seven Lakes of San Pablo, and the Nagcarlan Underground Cemetery in Nagcarlan. History Pre-Hispanic era The history of the province of Laguna, and that of the southern Tagalog region, dates as far back as 900 AD. The Laguna Copperplate inscription is the oldest known written document found in the Philippines, which talks of its subject being released from a debt to the king of Tondo. Pre-Hispanic settlement in the area can be dated to prehistoric times, as evidenced in the names of towns such as Pila, Laguna, whose name can be traced to the straight mounds of dirt that form the boundaries of the rice paddy, or pilipil. A prominent figure during the time of pre-Hispanic contact is Gat Pangal, a chieftain in the area. The towns of Bay, Pangal, and Paquil were reputed to have once been a part of his domain, although accounts vary on who exactly Gat Pangal was. 16th century The province of Laguna, which was formerly called La Laguna and La Provincia de La Laguna de Bay, was named after Laguna de Bay, the body of water that forms its northern boundary. Laguna de Bay, in turn, was named after the town of Bay, the first provincial capital. Captain Juan de Salcedo with a band of 100 Spanish-Mexican soldiers conquered the province and its surrounding regions for Spain in 1571. The province of La Laguna comprised the modern province of Laguna, as well as parts of what is now known as Rizal and Quezon. In 1577, the Franciscan missionaries arrived in Manila, and in 1578 they started evangelizing Laguna, Morong, now Rizal, Tayabas, now Quezon, and the Bicol Peninsula. Juan de Placencia and Diego de Oropesa were the earliest Franciscans sent to these places. From 1580, the towns of Bay, Caliraya, Majayjay, Nagcarlan, Lili, Pila, Santa Cruz, Lumban, Pangal and Sinalone were founded. During the time of Governor General Gómez Pérez de Marinas, the province of La Laguna was divided into the following encomiendas. Mirabago, currently the areas surrounding, Lili, and Nagcarlan. Tabuco, currently the areas surrounding San Pedro, Binyan, Santa Rosa, Cabuyao, and Calamba. Taitai, currently Tete, Rizal. Bay, the area surrounding Bay, Laguna, and Los Baños, Laguna. Pila, the area that is now Pila, Victoria, Palia, Rizal, and Yala Yala, Rizal. Mahaihai, currently the area around Majayjay, Magdalena, and Louisiana. Lumbong, the largest encomienda, containing what is now known as Lumban, Santa Cruz, Pate, Paquil, Cavinti, and Pagsingen. Tayabal, Tayabas, now known as Quezon. Pangui, now Pangal, Laguna. Sinaloa, the area surrounding Sinalone, Fami, and Mabatac. Moron, currently the areas surrounding Morong, including the town of Santa Maria, formerly known as Cabon. Nayan, Nayam, currently Tiawang, Quezon. By 1591, there were approximately 48,400 people living in the province. 17th and 18th century Laguna was the site of multiple engagements during the Sangli Rebellion. 
In 1603, Antonio de Morga relates how the Chinese rebels scattered to three divisions, one of which went to the mountains of San Pablo. Captain Don Luis de Velasco, aided by Spanish and Filipino forces, was successful in pursuing the rebels. Eventually the Chinese were able to kill Luis de Velasco and ten of his men, before securing themselves in San Pablo while waiting for reinforcement from the mainland. On 20 October, 1603, Governor General Pedro Bravo de Acuña then sent Captain Cristobal de Axqueta Mencaca to pursue and crush the rebellion and was successful after 20 days of fighting. Around this time the hot springs of Los Baños and San Pablo were known to the Spanish, and a hospital was built in the area. By 1622 the hospital was notable enough to be mentioned by the Archbishop of Manila at the time, Miguel Garcia Serrano in his letter to King Philip IV. In 1639, a second rebellion involving the Chinese occurred, and the rebels fortified themselves in the highlands of Cavinti and Lumban before surrendering in Pagsingen a year later. In 1670, a delimitation of borders were made between Lukban, Majayje and Cavite. The most populous town at that time, Bay, was capital of the province until 1688, when the seat of the provincial government was moved to Pagsingen. Pagsingen would be the provincial seat until 1858 when it was moved once again to Santa Cruz. In 1754, the province of Laguna and Tayabas were divided, with the Malinao River separating the towns of Majayje and Lukban. In 1678, Fray Hernando Cabrera founded San Pablo de los Montes, now San Pablo City, and built a wooden church and convent considered as the best and finest in the province. Fighting extended to Laguna during the British occupation of Manila between the years of 1762 to 64. A detachment of British troops under Captain Thomas Backhouse entered the province in search of the silver cargo of the galleon Filipina while Francisco de San Juan led a band of volunteers that fought them in several engagements in and around the then provincial capital of Pagsingen. Backhouse plundered the town and burned its newly reconstructed church but San Juan succeeded in escaping with the precious hoard to Pampanga where the treasure greatly bolstered the defense effort of Governor General Simón de Anda y Salazar. For his actions, San Juan was made a brigade commander and alcalde mayor of Tayabas, now Quezon, province. 19th century A major event in Laguna occurred in 1840, when religious intolerance led the people of Majayje, Nagcarlan, Bay, and Binyan to join the revolt of Hermano Puel, Apolinario de la Cruz, of Lucban, Tayabas. This revolt was eventually crushed by Governor General Marcelino de Oro Lacumberi. As part of political restructuring during the 19th century, the municipalities of Morong, Palia, Tanay, Baras, Binangonan, Jalayala, Angono, and Cardona were separated from Laguna and reorganized to the province Politico Militar Distrito de Morong. In 1858, the provincial capital was once again moved from Pagsingen to Santa Cruz, where it stands until today. In 1861, Jose Rizal was born in Calamba to Francisco Mercado and Teodora Alonso. Rizal would become one of the leading members of the propaganda movement, who advocated political reforms for the colony. Rizal would go on to write two novels, Noli Mi Tangere and El Filibusterismo, which in part fueled additional anti-colonial sentiment, contributing to the eventual Philippine Revolution. In 1896, thousands of inhabitants, especially of Bay, Los Baños, Nagcarlan, Magdalena, Santa Cruz, and Pagsingen had joined the revolutionary Katipunan. Rizal was executed on December 30, 1896, on charges of rebellion. Today Rizal is recognized as one of the national heroes of the Philippines. Laguna was one of the eight provinces to rise in revolt against the Spanish misrule led by generals Pasiana Rizal of Calamba, Severino Taino of Pagsingen, Agueda Cahabagan of Calauan, and Miguel Malvar of Batangas. One of the early engagements of the revolution was the Battle of Sambat, in Pagsingen. Katipuneros from Laguna, led by Severino Taino, took the city of Pagsingen and attempted to use it as a starting point towards the liberation of the province, but was quelled by forces led by Basilio Augustin. The defeat in Sambat meant the end of large scale organized revolt in Laguna, the Malungingjing chapter of the Katipunan failing to replicate the relative success of the revolution in Cavite. 
The revolutionaries resorted to hit and run and guerrilla tactics against the Spanish, lasting until the Pact of Biak na Bato on December 14 to 15, 1897. It was only after the execution of José Rizal that the revolution flared up again, culminating in the Battle of Calamba in May 1898, and the surrender of the last Spanish garrison in Laguna in Santa Cruz, on August 31 of the same year. Laguna actively supported the First Philippine Republic proclaimed at Malolos on January 23, 1899. Its two delegates to the Malolos Congress were Don Higino Benitez and Don Graciano Cordero, both natives of Pagsingen. 20th century Upon the outbreak of the Philippine-American War, Generals Juan Cais and Pisiana Rizal led the defense of Laguna during the war. S early stages. The Battle of Mabatac was fought in defense of the town of Mabatac and was won by Filipino forces. However, forces led by Henry W. Lawton fought and won in Santa Cruz, Pagsingen, and Pate, effectively securing the province for American forces. Resistance still occurred during this time. One of the province's folk hero during the continuing engagements was Teodoro Acetilo, who was considered a bandit by American forces. By the end of the war, the entire country was occupied by American forces and was taken as a colony. The Taft Commission was established to govern the Philippines during the interim period, which appointed Juan Cais as the Provincial Governor of Laguna. Act No. 83, or the Provincial Government Act, established a civilian government under American occupation. During this time, roads were built, schools were established, and in 1917, the Manila Railroad Company extended its line to Laguna as far as Pagsingen. During the Japanese occupation of the Philippines 1942-1945, Laguna was a center of Filipino resistance despite the presence of Makapili collaborators, the establishment of the military general headquarters and military camp bases of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and the Philippine Constabulary as a military unit organization was founded on January 3, 1942 to June 30, 1946 in the province of Laguna, and aided of the local military regular units of the Philippine Commonwealth Army 4th and 42nd Infantry Division and the Philippine Constabulary 4th Constabulary Regiment. Started the engagements of the anti-Japanese military operations in southern Luzon, Mindoro and Palawan from 1942 to 1945 against the Japanese Imperial Forces. Beginning in 1945, attacks by the Filipino soldiers of the 4th, 42nd, 43rd, 45th, 46th and 47th Infantry Division of the Philippine Commonwealth Army, 4th Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary and the recognized guerrillas against Japanese forces in Laguna increased in anticipation of the liberation of the Philippines by joint Filipino and American forces. Geography Laguna covers a total area of 1,917.85 square kilometers, 740.49 square miles, occupying the north-central section of the Calabarzon region in Luzon. The province is situated southeast of Metro Manila, south of Rizal, west of Quezon, north of Batangas and east of Cavite. Laguna is the third largest province in the Calabarzon region and the 63rd largest in the entire country. The municipalities of Cavinti and the city of San Pablo have the largest land areas with 203.58 square kilometers, 78.60 square miles, and 197.56 square kilometers, 76.28 square miles, respectively. The municipality of Victoria has the smallest land area with 57.46 square kilometers, 22.19 square miles. Laguna lies on the southern shores of Laguna de Bay, the largest lake in the country. The land near Laguna de Bay can be considered to be narrow and flat, while become more rugged going further inland towards the mountainous areas of Sierra Madre, Mount Makiling, and Mount Banaha. Laguna is home to 24 mountains, most of which are inactive volcanoes. The highest peak in Laguna is Mount Banaha, with an elevation of 2,170 meters 7 feet. Banaha, unlike most other volcanoes in Laguna, is an active complex stratovolcano, which last erupted in 1843. Banaha is located in the boundary of Laguna and Quezon and is home to multiple hot springs. Laguna is also home to the Laguna Volcanic Field, which can be found near San Pablo. 
The Laguna volcanic field is composed of over 200 dormant and monogenetic Mars, crater lakes, scoria cones and stratovolcanoes, the tallest of which is Mount Makiling at 1,090 meters 3,580 feet in elevation. San Pablo itself is known for its seven crater lakes, the largest of which is Lake Sampaloc. Apart from the Laguna de Bay and the Seven Lakes of San Pablo, there are also two reservoir lakes that can be found in Laguna, the Lake Caliraya and Lumont Lake. These two man-made lakes were formed by the creation of the Caliraya Dam and the Lumont Dam. Due to its proximity to Laguna de Bay, Laguna is home to a large number of its tributaries. One of the most famous rivers in Laguna is the Bumbungan River, also known as the Pagsingen River, named after the town of Pagsingen and its falls. The Pagsingen Falls lie at the end of the river. The Pagsingen Falls are a three-drop waterfall with a longest drop of 120 meters 390 feet. Laguna has 60,624 hectares 606.24 square kilometers of alienable and disposable agricultural land, mostly found near the low-lying areas. Around 41,253 hectares, 412.53 square kilometers, or 23.44% of Laguna's total land area is forest land, situated near Mount Makiling and further south towards Quezon. Laguna has an estimated 16,205 hectares, 162.05 square kilometers, of forest cover, ranking it third in the region. Climate the province is relatively dry from November to April and wet during the rest of the year for a small portion near the southern boundary. The other parts, west of Santa Cruz municipality, experience a dry season from November to April and rainy season during the rest of the year. The eastern and southernmost portions do not have distinct season, with rainfall more evenly distributed throughout the year. Laguna is classified under the Köppen climate classification as predominantly having a tropical monsoon climate, mostly centered around the areas of Calamba to Calauan. The area stretching from Binyan to Cabuyao is classified as having a tropical savanna climate, while the area from Louisiana to Pangal has a tropical rainforest climate. Administrative divisions Laguna comprises 24 municipalities and 6 cities. The provincial capital of Laguna is Santa Cruz. As of the 2015 census, there are 3,035,081 people in the province. Demographics the population of Laguna in the 2015 census was 3,035,081 people, with a density of 1,600 inhabitants per square kilometer or 4,100 inhabitants per square mile. Calamba is the most populous city in Laguna, accounting for 15% of the provincial population with 454,486 inhabitants, while Fami is the smallest municipality in Laguna with a total population of 16,587. In terms of population density, San Pedro has the largest with a density of 14,000 per square kilometers, 36,000 per square miles, while Cavinti is the smallest with a density of 110 per square kilometers, 280 per square miles. Most of the people in Laguna live in the cities of San Pedro, Binyan, Santa Rosa, Cabuyao, and Calamba, accounting to 58.51% of the population of the province. Laguna is the third most populous province in the Philippines and also the third densest. Laguna has a median age of 24.9 years, being in the middle of the southern Tagalog region. Almost all people in Laguna speak Tagalog, with 99.2% of the population being fluent in it. There is a minority of people fluent in Ilocano, Bicolano and Waray. A significant portion of the workforce in Laguna can read and speak English and Filipino. In 2000, literacy in Laguna was at 96.22%. Religion Laguna was historically one of the first provinces in the Philippines to have been visited by Christian missionaries. Today, the province, like the rest of the country, is predominantly Christian, with most being a part of the Roman Catholic Church. The Diocese of San Pablo is the only Roman Catholic diocese in Laguna. Other Christian denominations present in Laguna are the Philippine Independent Church, the Iglesia Ni Cristo, Baptists, and other mainline Protestants. Most non-Christians in Laguna practice Islam, Anatism, Animism, or Atheism. Economy 
Present-day Laguna shows a thriving economy. With a population of 3,035,081 2015 census, and a total area of 1,760 square kilometers 680 square miles of land, Laguna produces millions of pesos worth of coconuts, rice, sugar, citrus fruits, land zones and other products. Tourists flock to its beauty spots, especially Pagsingen Falls, Calamba and Los Baños Hot Springs, Mount Makiling, Caliraya Lake and many others. Levels of development vary. The towns near Metro Manila have become industrialized whereas the inner towns continue to engage in agricultural production or pursue agri-based industries and cottage and small-scale industries. In 2015, Laguna was reported to have an equity of 4.474 billion Philippine pesos, the second highest in the region behind Cavite. Laguna is labeled as the Detroit of the Philippines because of the presence of major vehicle manufacturers in the city of Santa Rosa. It is also considered as the Silicon Valley of the Philippines because of the vast number of electronic and semi-conductor companies operating in the province. Laguna is also the resort capital of the Philippines for it houses more than 700 hot spring resorts in the areas of Calamba and Los Baños. Natural resources the main natural resources of Laguna are in its agriculture and fisheries, owing to its position near the Laguna de Bay and the surrounding lowlands. There are about 40 rivers in Laguna with a total area of almost 0.5 square kilometers 0.19 square miles. The Laguna de Bay has an approximate area of 3,800 square kilometers 1,500 square miles, broken down into 2,900 square kilometers 1,100 square miles of land and 900 square kilometers 350 square miles of lake proper with 220 kilometers 140 miles shoreline. The shores of Laguna de Bay provide fishing grounds capable of producing 41,000 metric tons 41 million kilograms of fish, or roughly two-thirds of the freshwater fish requirements of Metro Manila. Laguna has an estimated 300 million U.S. gallons 1 cubic meters of underground water. At least seven principal water basins in the province with a total of 5,773 square kilometers 2,229 square miles drainage area and 1,316 square kilometers 508 square miles level area provide an estimated 9.238 square kilometers 3.567 square miles total runoff annually. There are two major watershed reserves in Laguna, the Malabanban Cabinsad Watershed Forest Reserve in San Pablo, and the Caliraya Lumot River Watershed Forest Reserve, which spans the municipalities of Pate, Cavinti, Calayan, and Lumban. Overall, these two watersheds span an area of 11,164.71 hectares, 27,588.6 acres. Laguna has a relatively small mining industry compared to the other provinces in the region, with only 11 non-metallic mines registered in the region, and only 8 of which are operating. These mines are found in Santa Cruz, Magdalena, Sinaloan, Lumban, and San Pablo. A total of 39.7823 hectares, 0.397823 square kilometers are used for mining purposes. Aggregates make up the largest amount in Laguna. S mineral industry with a value of 16,995,923 Philippine pesos. Overall, Laguna S mining economy contributes 8.87% to the region's total mining economy. Agricultural activities Laguna has 60,624 hectares 149,810 acres of alienable and disposable agricultural land. About 41,253 hectares 101,940 acres or 23.44% of Laguna's total land area is forest land. In 2002, there were 38,445 farms in Laguna. The top five crops produced in Laguna are rice, corn, coconuts, mangoes, and bananas. Other crops grown in the province include robusta coffee, pineapple, landzones, rambutan, and sugarcane. Calamba was once the site of a sugar cane mill, although the decline of the sugar industry during the 1970s and 1980s resulted in its eventual shutdown. 
Rice farming is an important part of Laguna. S. Agriculture, with approximately 30,619 hectares square kilometers of land used for cultivating 130,904 metric tons of rice. Los Baños is also the site of multiple research institutions specializing in rice, such as the International Rice Research Institute the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity and the Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture among others, Laguna de Bay, with a surface area of 900 kilometers 560 miles, is the province. S main fishing ground producing 410,000 metric tons 410 million kilograms of fish. Carp and tilapia fingerlings are also being grown in inland ponds and freshwater fish pens. There are a total of 457 operators utilizing an area of 1,839 hectares 18.39 square kilometers for fish pens and fish cages. Aside from the Laguna de Bay, approximately 12% of the area in the Seven Lakes of San Pablo is being used for aquaculture. Industry and commerce Laguna is home to 21 economic zones as registered under the Philippine Economic Zone Authority. Most of these economic zones are located in Santa Rosa, Binyan, and Calamba. The largest economic zone in Laguna is the Laguna Technopark, located in Santa Rosa and Binyan, with an area of 337.215 hectares 3.37215 square kilometers. Laguna is home to a large automotive industry, with Toyota Motor Philippines, Nissan Motor Philippines, Honda Philippines Incorporated, and Mitsubishi Motors Philippines all having plants in Santa Rosa. Laguna has a growing business process outsourcing industry, with companies such as IBM and Convergys establishing offices in Santa Rosa. PEZA lists four IT parks and one IT center in Laguna. Infrastructure Road network Laguna has a total of 348 kilometers 216 miles of national roads, all paved. Dong Maharlika, Route 1, AH-26, Calamba, Santa Cruz, Fami Road and Manila East Road, Route 66, Route 602, and San Pablo, Calauan Road, Route 67, form the highway network backbone, and secondary and tertiary national roads interconnect most municipalities, with Magdalena only connected by provincial road. Provincial roads serves as a supplement to the national roads, and connects barangays and municipalities not connected to the main network. The highway network is interconnected with nearby provinces and Metro Manila. The South Luzon Expressway SLEX, passes through Laguna. A public-private partnership initiative of the national government include plans to build a circumferential road along Laguna de Bay shoreline, the Laguna de Bay Flood Control Dike Expressway, or C6 extension, from San Pedro to Sinaloan. Some of the proposed road networks is the Calamba Los Baños Expressway and the Cavite Laguna Expressway that will connect the provinces of Cavite and Laguna. Power Three power generating plants are operating in the province. Botokan Hydroelectric Plant 25 megawatts. Majajay. Caliraya Hydroelectric Plant 23.5 megawatts. Kalayan. Mock Ban Geothermal Plant 20 megawatts. Bamaralco, the main electricity distributor of Metro Manila, has also the franchise for most of Laguna. Most of the municipalities on the 4th District, however, are franchise areas of First Laguna Electric Cooperative FLICO. Government The seat of the provincial government of Laguna is Santa Cruz, and has been the capital since 1858. Historically, the provincial government was seated in Bay, 1581-1688, and Pagsingen, 1688-1858, before setting in Santa Cruz. The provincial government is organized under a governor and vice-governor, as well as the Laguna Provincial Board. 
Laguna is divided to four districts for the purposes of electing members of the provincial board. On a municipal level, the province is governed by mayors and their own legislatures, the Sangguniang Panlungsod and Sangguniang Bayan for cities and municipalities, respectively. Each municipality is further composed for barangays, which are headed by a Punong Barangay and legislated by a Sangguniang Barangay. Provincial government The current governor of Laguna is Ramil Hernandez, who is a member of the Nationalista Party. He was previously the vice governor of Laguna under E.R. Ejercito, before Ejercito was unseated by the Commission on Elections for overspending during the campaign period for his second term. Hernandez then succeeded in retaining the post during the 2016 gubernatorial elections. The current vice governor of Laguna is Catherine Agape, who was Hernandez's running mate during the elections. Each of the four districts of Laguna elected representatives to the provincial board, totaling 12 members. House of Representatives On the legislative level, the province is divided into six legislative districts, each of which elect their own representative to the House of Representatives. Of the five available seats for Laguna, four of them were won by members of the Liberal Party. The third district was won by Saul Aragonese, who is a member of the United Nationalist Alliance. The newest district, the Lone District of the City of Calamba, will have its first election in 2019. Tourism Laguna has a large tourist industry, owing to its historical and natural resources. The Department of Tourism currently accredits two hotels, one inn, six resorts, one establishment, one restaurant, four tour operations, four tour guides, and two museums in the province. Laguna also has a total of 239 accredited tourist attractions, the second largest in the region behind Batangas. Tourism in Laguna is large, although most of the visitors to tourist spots are foreigners, as opposed to other provinces in Calabarzon. Owing to its long history, Laguna has a host of sites that showcase the different periods of history in Laguna. The Rizal Shrine in Calamba is the ancestral home of the Philippines' national hero, Jose Rizal. Other historical sites include the Alberto House in Binyan, the Cuartal de Santo Domingo in Santa Rosa, the Pagsingen Municipal Hall, the Pagsingen Arch, the Nagcarlan Underground Cemetery, the Ancestral Homes and Panagbayanan Crematorium in Pila, Emilio Jacinto Shrine in Santa Cruz, the Baker Memorial Hall in Up Los Baños, and the Tipacan in Louisiana. Other historical markers include the Japanese Garden in Cavinti and the Homa Yamashita Shrine in Los Baños, both of which commemorate the Japanese occupation of the Philippines during the Second World War, the memorial sites of the Battle of Sambad in Pagsingen and the Battle of Mabatac in Mabatac, and the Banteog ng Kajitingan, Banteog ng Mga Bayani, Trece Martyrs Monument, and the Bonifacio Monument in San Pablo. There are multiple historical and educational museums in Laguna in addition to its historical sites, such as the Pila Memorial Museum in Pila, the Salvador Laurel Museum in San Pedro, the Museo de Santa Rosa in Santa Rosa, the Danilo de Lina House of Paintings in Paquil, the Bahá'í Laguna in Magdalena, and the Monterola Museum in Nagcarlan. Los Baños is home to multiple museums, such as the Erie Rice World Museum, the Museum of Natural History, the Museum of the Wildlife Collections of Dr. Dioscoro Rabber, and the Entomology Museum. Laguna is home to some of the oldest churches in the Philippines, dating back to the end of the 16th century. The St. James the Apostle Parish Church in Pate, and the St. Gregory the Great Parish Church in Majayjay are considered to be some of the oldest in the province, dating as far back as 1578 and 1571, respectively. Other historical churches in the provinces include the St. Paul the First Hermit Cathedral in San Pablo, the Transfiguration of Our Lord Parish Church in Cavinti, the Nuestra Señora de Candelaria Parish Church in Mabatac, the Immaculate Conception Parish Church in Los Baños, the St. John the Baptist Church in Lili, the St. John the Baptist Church in Calamba, where Rizal was baptized, the St. Peter of Alcantara Parish Church in Paquil, which houses the Our Lady of Tarumba painting, the Immaculate Conception 
Parish Church in Santa Cruz, St. Polycarp Church and the Diocesan Shrine of San Vicente Ferrer in Cabuyao, Santa Rose de Lima Parish Church in Santa Rosa, and the Diocesan Shrine of Santo Sepulcro and the San Pedro Apostol Parish Church in San Pedro. Laguna contains many natural tourist spots, owing to its geography and climate. Laguna is home to the Laguna Volcanic Field, a group of 200 volcanoes and Mars. The highest feature of these fields is Mount Makiling, which is also considered to be a holy mountain. The seven lakes of San Pablo are also part of this field. The highest peak in Laguna is Mount Banaha, which it shares with the province of Quezon. Laguna also features multiple waterfalls, such as the Pagsingen Falls, the Baruizan Falls in Sinalon, the Bodokan and Taytay Falls in Majayjay, the Talaning Aliw and the Hulugan Falls, both in Louisiana. Other attractions in the province include the Cavinti Underground River and Caves Complex, the Simbahang Bado in Louisiana, the Dalatiwan River in Majayjay, and the Crocodile Park in Los Baños. There are also multiple man made tourist attractions and parks located in Laguna. The Enchanted Kingdom theme park is found in Santa Rosa and is accredited by the Department of Tourism. Other parks in Laguna include the Valesol Haven, the Boy Scouts of the Philippines Camp, the Maria Makiling Park, and the Makiling Botanical Garden, all found in Los Baños, the Wawa Park in Pate, and the Public Plaza of San Pablo. Calamba and Los Baños are famous for its resorts and hot springs, lending to it the title of Resort Capital of the Philippines. Other sites include the Tarumba Swimming Pool in Paquil, the Caliraya Lake, Dagatan Boulevard in San Pablo, and the Sampaloc Lake Staircase. Education Education rates in Laguna are high. In 2010 there were approximately 2,382,512 out of 2,669,847 people having attained some form of education. The literacy rate of Laguna in 2000 was 96.22%. Most people in Laguna are high school graduates, while most overseas workers from Laguna have a college degree. There are 586 public schools in Laguna, composed of 458 public schools and 128 secondary schools. The city of San Pablo has the greatest number of public schools with 79, while the municipality of Rizal has the least with 4. Laguna is home to multiple schools and universities. There are an estimated 18 universities and 37 colleges in the province. There are three state universities in Laguna with a total of 11 campuses, Laguna State Polytechnic University, Pamantasan ng Cabuyao, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, and the University of the Philippines Los Baños. UPLB is also one of the oldest universities in the Philippines, having been established in 1909. The International Rice Research Institute can be found within the UPLB campus and is known internationally for its work in developing rice technologies. There are also multiple private colleges in Laguna. Some colleges and universities with main campuses in Metro Manila have also established satellite campuses in Laguna, such as Lyceum of the Philippines University Laguna, De La Salle Canlubang, Colegio de San Juan de Latran, and Malayan Colleges Laguna. Most recently the University of Santo Tomas has announced that it will establish a campus in Santa Rosa. Notable alumni from colleges in Laguna include Teodoro Casino, a former member of the House of Representatives, Eduardo Coanco Jr., the chairman of San Miguel Corporation, and Gerald Tarog, film director. Arts and culture Laguna is a major contributor to the development of arts in the Philippines. Pate is known as the woodcarving capital of the Philippines for the murals found in the St. James the Apostle Parish Church. The church houses three murals created by Luciano Danz depicting images of heaven, earth, and hell, as well as other murals of St. Christopher. Some of these murals, however, need restoration as they have been infested by termites. Manuel Baltimore is an internationally acclaimed woodcarver born in Pate. Another famous icon in Laguna is the Our Lady of Tarumba, found in Paquil. Much like the rest of the country, Laguna celebrates multiple feasts and festivals throughout the year. Each barangay has their own fiesta in homage to a patron saint. 
Some of Laguna's famous festivals include the Tarumba Festival in Paquil, the Piña Festival in Calauan, and the Sinilas Festival in Lili. Notable people See also Campaigns of the Philippine-American War Laguna Lake Development Authority Roman Catholic Diocese of San Pablo Legislative Districts of Laguna References External links Media related to Laguna, Province, at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Laguna, Province, at OpenStreetMap Official website of the Province of Laguna